Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. Okay, I'm not gonna sneeze. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm here to share with you guys some things that I got for back to school this year. I want to first start with the classroom decorations that I got. So my inspiration for my classroom theme this year was schoolgirl styles industrial chic look and it incorporates a lot of white shiplap with burlap accents and then some blackboard accents as well so that was my definitely my inspiration but i didn't get any of my supplies directly from schoolgirl style i kind of went out to walmart and target and online on amazon and kind of pieced together what i felt was my own impression of the theme let's first start with my classroom decorations so the first thing i got is my classroom borders no classroom is complete without a good set of borders so like I said before, my theme is the industrial chic look. So I guess the chic part of that is the shiplap. I got some straight border from Teacher Created Resources. I got off Amazon for, I would say $9, but it comes with 35 feet of border. Now border can be reused each year as long as you're um, removing your staples correctly and making sure your students aren't picking at it on the wall or like drawing stuff on it so just keep an eye wherever you put your border make sure it's not too close to your students you know board students or you're just keeping a visual eye on what kids are doing um so this is my shiplap straight border and then i'm going to accent that with i have a scalloped burlap border this is also from teacher created resources i think this was nine dollars as well and it's 35 feet so yep so this is my accent border I'm actually going to overlap these two borders like this I actually am going to be um, putting this around some bulletin boards as well as a blackboard idea I have so I'm really excited about this. Kind of brings my whole class together because I'm doing some different things with the walls. So to go along with that, one of the ideas I had for my border was to get a blackboard in my room. So I have an updated classroom at my school. Part of the updated classrooms that we get, uh, if you have an updated classroom at my school, is you have white walls around the whole room. You have a smart board mounted on the front of the room with a mounted projector. And then on the left and right side of the smart board, you have, I would say, small to medium sized whiteboards. These are not sufficient enough for the whole room because if you want to put your objectives, your homework assignments on the board, and maybe you want a word wall or put your calendars up, there's really no room for, I would say, places to write anchor charts or take notes or whatever you want to do to supplement your lessons material. So I decided to um, put a blackboard in. Now I'm not really allowed to drill into the wall or paint the wall with black paint or anything like that. So I found this on Amazon. It's the Rabbit Goo chalkboard sticker. And this is basically a blackboard with an adhesive backing um, that you can stick on the wall and it supposedly does not peel the paint off. I'll probably put command strips or something else that's attached to the wall or staple it just in case because I really don't want to be sticking um, large items onto the, onto the wall. So I'm probably going to accent this with the burlap and shiplap border. That way it'll really bring together that industrial chic look. Another thing that I want to mention that I bought uh, but it has not come in yet from Amazon is I did buy shiplap wallpaper. Now. I've seen a lot of Instagram and um, vlogging teachers and teachers that are on Pinterest and they have a lot of accent walls in their classroom and I didn't understand where they had the freedom to like install walls into their classroom and then I realized that they're just using wallpaper. So I actually found some cheaper contact paper off Amazon and again I didn't want to stick anything on the wall but this does have a backing, so if you do want to stick it on the wall and you trust that it's not gonna peel the paint off, you can um, peel the backing off, but I'm probably gonna leave the backing on and just staple it to the wall. Since I have a decorator staple gun, um, I'm probably just gonna staple it in, and I bought enough for at least one wall in my classroom, and I feel that if 
I have at least one kind of shiplap wall in my classroom that'll bring the whole theme together and make the classroom look very homey and unique and it'll give a comforting feel to the students. So it is that white shiplap and it does match my border. So I'm excited about that. Um, I'll probably put a picture right here or somewhere here as to what it looks like from Amazon. Um, but I'll probably include that in my classroom tour video, which I'll be doing in the next couple of weeks as I get settled into my classroom. All right, so the next item that I purchased is really to bring my theme together. So I noticed a lot of the industrial chic look is very white and black and white. So the white shiplock mi mixed with the chalkboard accent. So a lot of the color that's introduced into these themes is more pastel colors. So I chose pink, um, this kind of light pastel pink, white, and then this, I would say, I think it's a turquoise color. Um, yeah, it's a turquoise color, which I do have a tapestry in my room that isn't quite pastel, but it pulls these colors in. And I've had this tapestry since I was a first year teacher and it has arrows on it. So I kind of wanted to pull those colors into the classroom um, as accents for the industrial chic look. So I did buy this off Amazon. This is the Just Artifacts pack of decoration lanterns. And I think these are called pom-poms. Yeah, they're pom-poms. They look kind of like flowers, but it's a pack of them and it includes all the colors you need for a theme. So I actually, I also forgot to mention, I have this yellow, a pale yellow color, almost a cream yellow into the classroom and I'm going to be putting these up in the ceiling and on the walls to kind of pull some color into the classroom since I have a lot of shiplap and a lot of blackboard. So these were about I would say $12, $13 off Amazon. So some other things to pull in my industrial chic look in my classroom. I got this from Walmart. This is a chalkboard flag banner and these pennants they have a ribbon that strings through them uh, and you can write on the chalkboard pennant and then erase it so you can put whatever you want on it i actually ordered some chalkboard markers um, i'll show you guys that a little bit later i think this was a dollar or two dollars from walmart from the party section another cheap thing i got from walmart is this confetti garland i just thought it would be really cute a lot of my students like to look for cute places to take selfies and things like that um, and I want my classroom to be a place where the students feel super comfortable and everything is beautiful. So this confetti garland is just silver circles I think that hang and you can put it in front of anything so I might put this in front of like my shiplap or put it behind my desks where I can put pictures. So another thing I got from Walmart are these flowers. So I wanted to really bring out the pink and the yellow color scheme that I have in the lanterns and the pom-poms. So what I was thinking about doing here is an idea that I got off of Smarty Styles YouTube vlog. One of the teachers on her grade level team actually did this and I think she got it off of School Girl Styles website also. But basically the idea is is that there are these mason jar pockets that you can purchase off School Girl Style. I'll probably make my own since I have a laminator at work. But you print out these pockets and they look like little mason jars and you staple the sides of the pocket to the wall and then you put in little accent flowers and you put them in the pocket around the classroom. So I think I was going to do the same thing uh, with, with these flowers that I got from Walmart and probably clip off like one or two of them and put a pink and a cream or a yellow flower in them and put them around the room to kind of bring in that color scheme that I was talking about before with my lanterns and my pom-poms. I'm kind of excited to bring some floral um, elements into my classroom. But one of my last items that I got is something really, I would say, unique. I got this from the Goodwill store. It's kind of heavy. It, I thought it was really cool accent piece. There is a, a part for it to mount on the wall, but basically it's a geometric metal piece that I thought was kind of tribally a little bit. And it kind of reminded me of my tapestry at work that has the, it's a tribal arrow tapestry. I am thinking about spray painting this with um, some of my colors themes. I'm gonna show you the paint in a second. Um, but I thought this would be really cool to mount on the wall, maybe put some pictures on it or some lights on it. So we'll see where that goes, but 
kind of another accent piece to bring my classroom together. In a second or later in the video, you're going to see some furniture that I bought and also some baskets and kind of accent pieces. Not all of them are the colors that I want, but I was inspired with um, kind of the idea of upcycling and taking things from the Goodwill or the thrift store and modifying them to meet my classroom's needs to make the classroom feel more like more at home. So I bought these two colors to kind of bring out that those subtle pastel themes in my classroom. I noticed that I wasn't going to find a lot of yellow accents so I bought this yellow Rust-Oleum spray paint. It is in the color Summer Squash. So that doesn't sound good because I don't like squash but I thought this would be a good paint to buy because I couldn't find a lot of yellow to accent the classroom with so anything that I buy from the thrift store or furniture that I want to get I can spray this color also I wanted to bring out the pinks in some of the lanterns so I bought candy pink rust-oleum and both of these spray paints I got at Walmart for about three to four dollars and they bond to plastic, metal, and wood. So these should be good for all of my accent needs. So one of my last things that I wanted to show you, I did get some yellow fabric. I have some trouble finding some yellow accents for my classroom theme. So I bought this fabric because I'm gonna show you in a second. I bought a chair. It's a really cool swivel chair I got from the Goodwill for $7 and I really couldn't beat it. It's kind of, it's a wrought iron chair. You're gonna see it. The seat cushion was a little bit stained and it was old, older and kind of did not meet my color needs. So I noticed at the bottom there were some screws that I could just unscrew and pop the seat cushion off and the fabric was just kind of pressed down around the seat cushion. So it wasn't even sewed. So I am going to just replace that fabric with this yellow fabric and then cover it with this vinyl material. That way the fabric won't get stained, the yellow color won't change um, from use. And of course, schools are dirty, people have to sit on the chair, so you don't really want sweat or any grossness to be on the chair. So I bought this vinyl to wrap around the seat cushion. So this chair I got from the Goodwill, like I said before, for $7.50. It swivels, it is a circular, kind of a higher uh, made chair. I'm thinking about using it as maybe a student conference chair if I have to talk to a student 101 or maybe my co-teacher needs to pull a student to his desk. It does have a nice cushion on it and it feels uh, not like a student chair that you would look down at the student on. So it would be a really good chair for conferencing. I'm excited about changing the seat cushion. Uh, but otherwise it looks great, especially for $7. So remember the Goodwill is a great resource for teachers if you're looking for flexible seating or new furniture. All you have to do is get a piece, find someone to bring it into your classroom, but if you can find some good Rust-Oleum spray paint in your classroom themes color, you have a brand new piece of furniture that you didn't pay that much money for. So the last item of decoration, I would say that I, I didn't actually purchase this. My mom gave this to me for my house. Um, but this is a vinyl film. It's a thick, I would say prismatic film that it uses, I, I want to say like static cling um, to sit on glass. So there is no adhesive here at all. Uh, there is um, really no glue that holds this on. So in my classroom, I have a one of the traditional classroom doors, and it, mine has a thin window on the side of it. And I, I know everyone has this problem if you have a window door that students like to come up between classes or in the middle of class that are not supposed to be out in the hallway and they're sticking their face in there and they're knocking and they're trying to get all the kids in my classroom who are trying to learn's attention and by the time you run out there and open the door the kid ran down the hallway so um, I'm not sure if that's your experience but in high school we always have kids that are out in the hallway not doing what they're supposed to and their job seems to be to distract your children my solution to that is usually to cover up that window um, but the sad thing is is that you feel if you visit a building that has covered windows, it usually shows that maybe the building's dilapidated or broken or something like that. So I decided, um, I actually found this in my house after I put it up on my own front door for privacy. 
This is cool because it's slightly see-through, um, but there's a prismatic design on it that when the light shines through, it diffuses into the room, but it blurs actual viewing. So if a student peers into it, they're going to notice that they can't see into the classroom or make faces or anything. So they're not going to use that window to distract the rest of the students, but it still diffuses light in so it doesn't look boarded up. And it kind of makes a cool rainbow effect. So who doesn't like a good rainbow prism? into your classroom. So let's move on to some of the appliances and I would say accent pieces that I got into my classroom. So the first thing that I bought, I kind of, I actually saw another teacher in my floor have a desk lamp. So you know sometimes when you're playing a YouTube video or you're playing a film in your class and all the lights have to be off? Well, and you can't really do anything because all the lights are off so the students can see the smart board but you, maybe you want to be grading or something like that. So one of my fellow teachers has a desk lamp and it's really cute and it sits by her, right by her computer so she can turn it on and grade while the students might be watching something. Um, and I felt that this was a great way to bring in an accent piece into the theme. So I found this lamp at Walmart and the lampshade. This was $5 the base. It's a, I would say a blue slash turquoise lamp, simple. And then the lampshade I also found at Walmart for $5 and it's a burlap lampshade, very simple. And I felt that that brought together the colors of the lanterns with the burlap industrial chic look that I have in my borders. So I found this at the Goodwill. This is like a basket, I believe, for magazines. So this was $2, I would say. This is just a wicker, plain wicker basket. Now what I want to use this for, I actually saw off of the Daring English Teacher's Instagram. So she puts on her, her whiteboard, she puts books that she's currently reading to encourage the students that teachers too independently read. Um, but I'm also going to use it for not only books I'm independently reading, but my teacher copies of books. So I'm going to probably sit this on the whiteboard, spray paint this in either my yellow or my pink accent spray paint. And I'm going to put my teacher copies of books in. So like I mentioned before, I have three preps this year, which means that I will have three books that I'll be teaching. Three books that I have teacher copies for with all of my sticky notes, my highlights, the things that I want to mention in class, my audiobook um, times and my movie times. All of my notes go into these teacher copies and I usually take my book and I leave it somewhere and I lose all my teacher copies by the next period I can't find my book again. So if I have a place on the whiteboard to kind of put my teacher copies of my books back into, I think this is going to be really useful for that. The next thing that I got is also at the Goodwill. It was four dollars. So here's their little tag. You're probably familiar with what this is. This is a wine rack, a wine bottle holder. And no, I'm not using this <laughs> to hold my wine bottles at work. Um, this is going to be used as a cell phone charging station. So my intention is to spray paint this, um, make it look brand new, and then mount it on the wall somehow. I might take, I might take a nail. Not supposed to be using nails in the wall, but sometimes you just have to go for it. So I'm probably going to mount this to the wall by putting a few anchor nails into it and then sitting this on the wall. And as you can see, there is six holes and then there's a kind of a shelf on the top of it. What I think I'm going to do is run an extension cord to this area. I actually have an unused outlet at the, on my ceiling where my smart board plugs in. There's an extra outlet. I think I'm going to run an extension from that outlet to this shelf, shelving unit I would say, and allow the students to charge their phones because I'm not sure if this is in your experience but when a student's charging their phone that probably means they're not using it at their desk and being distracted. So I'm really excited about how I'm going to convert this wine rack into a cell phone charging station. So I actually found this next item at the Goodwill also. As you can see, it says $3.91 on it. Um, this is actually a Target aromatherapy diffuser. So for essential oils, I was looking for one of these for my classroom because really wallflowers are discouraged because they're a fire hazard. Um, and also they're really strong. So I still 
need something in my classroom to make it smell better because I'm teaching high schoolers, they get sweaty, they get stinky. Um, at some point, there will be 35 kids in my room or a total of almost 40 people in my room if I'm getting observed. And a lot of people, it's going to smell. So I really wanted something to um, I kind of take the edge off of the stink. So I mentioned before that this year I'm going to bring in a coffee pot. So this is my, oh, show the front, so this is my Mr. Coffee coffee pot I got at Walmart for $17 and I'm super excited about this because there is a delay, bro, a delay brew feature on it so that I can actually set it up the day before when I leave for work I can put my coffee in, set the timer, that way the next morning when I roll into work tired, probably with cold coffee from home, I will already have a pot brewing for me. And then the cool, one of the cool features for this Mr. Coffee uh, is that it has a reusable filter. So I'm trying this. I've tried a Keurig before. I didn't, I don't really like Keurigs that much just because I feel like the coffee doesn't taste as good. Call me snobby. Um, and also there's always weird stuff that happens with it and you, there's a lot of tanks and things you have to clean, at least in my experience with my Keurig. So I think this is a great clean sanitary way to get really well brewed coffee and you can set it up the day before. Alright guys, so remember, learn often, teach well. I will see you in my next video.